parental care in amphibians the some of the primitive invertebrates do not uh, care their uh, eggs and do not care their uh, young ones the parental care is almost uh, absent in those animals but uh, uh, especially in the vertebrates the parental care is the main important character uh, if there is no parental care then what happen uh, many hard due to many harsh conditions due to enemies those offsprings may die the death rate is very high but if the parental care is there the due to the harsh conditions the pro, eggs are protected the young ones are protected and the young ones are eggs are also protected from the enemy attack of enemies so the if the parental care is increased the death rate is decreased that is the importance of parental care that's why now we are going to discuss about the amphibians parental care types of parental care how do they protect their eggs and young ones that is the types of parental care foam nest building this is an amazing thing in, in, in normally the um, of, uh, frogs or any other amphibians can lay eggs in the water because the their fertilization is taking place externally in the water the eggs are developed in the water this foam like uh, material is secreted by the uh, frogs or any amphibians these can float in the water then this uh, uh, they can lay eggs on this uh, foam like structure this foam can float on the water if they float on the water uh, penetrated into this foam the oxygen is available for the uh, growing embryos they can grow very easily and the caring of eggs how do they care the eggs so for example this one is the uh, tree frog hyla like uh, this tree frog can lay eggs and beneath the leaves where the water is available they can, the, if they lay eggs on the beneath the leaves the enemies cannot identify them and the water is always available for the embryos to grow and another is the brooding or uh, egg brooding or carrying some of the frogs can carry the uh, eggs on their back and some can transport the tadpole larva on their back and protect themselves from the enemies and especially this uh, nourishment in some of the sicilians these are the sicilians in the sicilians the nourishment is provided by the adult organism I, uh, most of the sicilians are uh, uh, viviparous and some are oviparous are also there <coughs> after giving birth to the young ones are laying eggs those eggs are protected by the uh, adult organism and uh, after giving birth to the young ones what happened the young ones can take the grab the food material from the oviduct uh, of the mother also the, these eggs are protected by the sicilians and uh, viviparity and also we observed in some of the salamanders they can give birth to the young ones and they can carry them they can protect them from the uh, enemies and harsh conditions also